we sat down together at the very beginning and uh, as they were uh, contemplating where they're going to go with this next game. And I was able to bring in a, a young soldier, just came back from Afghanistan with me, and uh, talk about different movements, different techniques, how the weapons operated differently. I know, kind of uh, lit some ideas, did some motion capture, or at least to try to do a little bit of animation on how he moved, the difference in movement. Having those guys, uh, seeing them, you know, operate, bringing them to the studio, and really just added to the uh, authenticity of the game, and and really made it so that uh, you know the Marine Corps can take a lot of pride when they see uh, their their boys in action in Call of Duty 4: Modern Warfare. Ambush! Contact right! Contact right! We've uh, really focused for Call of Duty 4 to be a very international game, to have a very wide uh, appeal. We've uh, we've been to, you know, all all over Europe, you know, to the UK, to France, to Italy, to Germany. Everyone has just been loving it. Every time we show the game, you know, we have uh, standing ovations during demonstrations, and we got people that just keep coming back to play the game more and more and more. I heard one Russian journalist tell me, so well, you have to have the Russians as the bad guys. <laughs> I thought we got over that. No, we're not communists anymore. Why do you have the Russians? Would you get any of that out there? Um, a, a little bit. I mean, there's some posts on the forums, but just to let folks know that this is a, a Russian separatist who is a bad guy. You're not fighting against the Russian government. We love Russians. UAV recon standing by. With regards to the multiplayer, You've got the ability to uh, level up your character as you would see in an RPG. And you start off at level 1, I believe at level 4 you open up create a class, which allows you to mix and match your weaponry, your attachments, and your, your perks, which is uh, the way you customize your characters. You unlock various types of weapons, um, various challenges, and um, you gain with those weapons the ability to to complete new challenges with each weapon that unlocks uh, additional attachments. Once you actually hit the level 65 for your character, you unlock prestige mode, which is a whole new, uh, whole new way of playing the game. So, which I'm not talking about that right now. There's definitely, um, you know, that tightrope that you're walking, you know, between fun and realism. And you know, when it comes down to it, it is a game, and fun does have to win out. Hank can speak to several situations where where we were talking about uh, weapons in the game, like the smoke and the javelin, and, and he can tell you more about it. But uh, about it. About <laughs> like the grenade would go off immediately without a cook-off. And of course, usually you get a five-second delay. Uh, it's too, too long for gamers. And uh, the dragon, or the uh, javelin, tends to hop up in the air and come down from the top, but not skyrocketing, like uh, going into space and coming back down. But again, the compromise was, we're gonna make this fun. Where's the knife again? I also said, you know, we really ought to hook a taser up to the genitalia of the player so that when uh, when he gets shot or gets a wound, it's not the little red flash on the screen. And you just see guys whimpering like sick puppies in their basement after playing the game, thinking, I don't want to do this again. But then we wouldn't sell a lot of these games. So. Oh, Hank, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's another, you know, kit later on. For yeah, the guys. add on for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or just get your sister a wiffle ball bat and let her walk in and nail you a couple of times. <laughs> We're rolling out and going to be all across the world with Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. So, very exciting and can't wait for fans to get their hands on it. There are guys out there doing this for real, guys and gals. And uh, so this gives you kind of a feel of what they go through on the most intense day of combat. So when you see them come home in the, in the, uh, the airport, you know, tell them thank you. They're out there doing this kind of thing. Yeah.